when we discuss about matter, we are actually talking about all the things in the whole universe. Alright? All the things that occupy space. Meaning it takes up a certain space. Okay? So for people like me, I take up more space than the other guy who take up less space. But nevertheless, we all take up some space. So we are matter. And then we also have mass. Obviously, my mass which is greater than the other guy. Okay, my mass is greater than the other guy. Not only that, matter can be converted to energy. What really happened in the sun is that a lot of hydrogen and helium gas or particle they are actually burning. After they burn, they actually release energy. This is how we get our sunlight, the thermal energy from the sun, okay, shining through the earth. So it's convertible to energy. So matter can be classified into a few categories. So let's categorize them to element and compound. When we say element, we are talking about particles of one type. If they exist as a single particle, we call them atom. For example, hydrogen atom, for example, sodium atom, for example, chlorine atom, for example, argon atom. It can also be combined with themselves. For example, hydrogen gas consists of two hydrogen chemically bonded together. This is what we call molecule of the same element. Okay. All right. More example would be oxygen gas, ozone, nitrogen gas, chlorine gas, and bromine gas. All right. So the keyword in element is they consist of one type and they cannot be broken down to simpler substance. Example, atom H cannot be broken down to simpler substance. Of course, we can break them down to subatomic particle, but when they become subatomic particle, they do not have the characteristics of the atom hydrogen anymore. All right? So they just simply exist as H. You cannot bring them down to more components anymore. All right? So another type of matter is compound. When we talk about compound, we are talking about molecules and ions. Okay? The keyword in compound is they consist of different types different type of element. Example, CH4. It consists of C and H, carbon and hydrogen. And H3 consists of nitrogen and hydrogen. C6, H12O6. This is glucose, sugar. And it consists of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. One of the characteristics of compound is they can be broken down into simpler substance. I'll give you an example of electrolysis. They use electricity to break the component of NaCl to simpler substance. Here we have molten NaCl. So at first, they exist together as NaCl ions. Okay? Ions is a type of compound. All right? So they consist of different types bonded together. Basically, if you break them, they become Na plus and Cl negative. Inside, you have a lot of Na plus and Cl negative. They are separated because of the electricity. And after being separated, they could go different ways according to the polarity. Here we have positive, negative. The Na+, plus, the cation, will be attracted to this side. Chlorine, Cl negative, 
anion will be attracted to the positive side. So we say that this NaCl is broken down into the component. It shows that it can be separated. Right? And another thing about compound is their characteristic is totally different. Characteristics for this ion, which is a compound, is so much different from the characteristics of an A atom itself and it's so different from the Cl atom itself, the characteristics. Okay, What could happen is when an A plus goes here, it actually deposits itself as an A deposit. And here, Cl when it goes here, it could become a chlorine gas and release itself as gas form. All right. So nevertheless, when we talk about compound, we are dealing with two main characteristics. One is they can be broken down to their component. And second characteristics is their chemical property or physical property are so much different from the component. Their property, let's say NaCl, is so much different from Na or Cl. They are different. Alright, so how do we know whether a compound is a molecule or ion? As we go along in our study in later chapters, we find out that uh, most of the molecules that we talk about in compound are covalent compound. Covalent means uh, they share the electron. As for ions, most of the time it consists of Na plus and Cl negative. These are the example of uh, group 1 and these are the example of group 7. Okay, If you have periodic table, group 1 is generally here and group 7 is somewhere here. So most of the time we consider metal to be donating electron and we consider non-metal to be accepting electron. All right. So later in another video we will find out what is cation, what is anion, what is positive ion, what is negative ion and then we will understand how to differentiate between molecule and ions.